I found out that there is a Gundam Wing fighting game that was released on the Super Nintendo, but only in Japan. So we're going to play that today, and we're going to have some fun with that. Because let me tell you, I freaking love Gundam Wing. At least the idea of it. It's kind of funny, because I recently went back and I started watching the anime, and it wasn't... Uh... Well, it started falling off is the problem. Like halfway through the series, me and the companion that I was watching with Whip at the time, we were, uh, well, me, really. I got bored like halfway through. Like that show really, really dips in the middle. But the beginning of it is awesome. And I'm going to assume that the end of it is awesome. It's just that in the middle, it dipped quite a bit. Hey, Whip, do you want to uh, co-commentate? I have not played NES Godzilla. Is it good? Oh, yes, we can get whip on. Ooh. <laughs> you know we're near your good stuff. <laughs> I might uh, play a little bit before uh, whip joins us. Oh my gosh, this is nostalgia-like implosion for me. Just your favorite show having like a fighting game that you never knew about. And it's awesome. <laughs> so I found out that my favorite character thus far is Death Scythe. Which is funny because he's kind of my favorite character in the show as well. So let's go ahead and grab that. Just to start off with, maybe I'll switch around as we go along. So you have difficulty options. I didn't show it, but it's in the options menu. Uh, right off the bat, of course, it starts you off on normal. The game starts out like fairly simple, but later on it gets pretty damn tough. I'm here. Hello, Whip! Welcome, welcome to the stream! Thank you, thank you for having me. <laughs> like, as soon as you called me, I, I stood up and my headphone cable snagged. Oh, and, like, I'm so over sorry! And, like, <laughs> I was like, holding my, my MacBook in one hand while trying to walk upstairs. <laughs> it's not your fault. Well, I'm glad you were able to join us, especially for this. This is cool that you were able to join us for this, because this yes. is a Gundam Wing fighting game that I found. Yeah, dude, I saw you link this to me, and I should have realized that, that you were intent on, on playing this. <laughs> so I figured it was like, yeah, this is right up your alley. This, uh, it's, it's amazing! It's, it's fucking Gundam Wing! It looks pretty cool. It was only released in Japan! <laughs> I'm playing a translated <laughs> oh, right. version of it. Oh, nice. I, so I guess it was a fan translation, right? Yeah. Of course, the only thing that's, that actually needs to be translated is, like, the little, like, after-match blurbs. Okay. It plays exactly like Super Street Fighter does. It's even got, like, the same way that specials are done, with, like, quarter circles and, like, half circles. Probably grabs work the exact same so way, too. Pretty traditional pretty traditional fighting. Does it, does it feel like you can do combos in it? Uh, yes. In fact, I think you can wail on people more so than normal in this. Because, like, if they're down, you can still, like, damage them. And I don't think that's the same way for other fighting games. I made a comeback. It gets, like, insanely, insanely hard, like, later on. They're just gonna raise the difficulty with, like, every opponent that you get. It's also, like, randomized who you get. So, like, one of the people that, like, was kicking my ass, like, last night when I was playing this on my own was, like, one of the, like, peons in the show. Like, somebody who's actually, like, barely in the show, honestly. Oh, yeah. An inconsequential character. By the way, I don't know how to do specials. Like, I'm, I'm sort of figuring out, like I said, it's, like, quarter circles and whatnot, but, like, even knowing, like, sort of how it works, I don't 
know the exact button, so like, <laughs> I've got like full super meter and I'm just not using it. <laughs> Are you and trying to figure it out naturally, or like? I'm trying to figure it out naturally because there's not going to be move list for this game. I haven't looked, but I very highly doubt there's going to be move list for this game. Oh, uh, there must be. Well, I'm gonna go look it up. How'd you find out about it? Um. Oh fuck! How did I find out about it? Oh, I think there's this thread that I found on like a RetroPie forum where they were talking about their favorite ROM hacks. And some people were talking about ROM hacks, and some people were just talking about translations. And this came up. Okay. There was actually some amazing stuff there. Like, that was, like, a perfect, like, breeding ground for, like, stream ideas. There's a ROM hack for uh, Earthbound that just makes the menus, like, more modern. And, like, the behavior more, like, fun, really? The thing about Earthbound is that you have, like, a search function. And whenever you do that search function, it'll just like search whatever's in front of you. Okay. But this person made it to where with the hack, that search function is just bound to a button and it no longer like says, oh yeah, that, that search didn't work. It just doesn't do it if it doesn't work. I've been finding out all sorts of like little fix hacks recently. It's it's kind of amazing. There's a hack that for Yoshi's Island that just silences like Baby Mario crying. Because every time you got hit in Yoshi's <laughs> Island, Baby Mario would fall off your back and just fly away in a bubble, just crying his brains out. And everybody hated it because it's the most annoying goddamn sound they chose for it. I think you've talked about that before. You've heard you mention that. Or or maybe I've just generally heard about it. Oh, I saw the guns. Alright, so I found um I found something on a move set, but it's this is complicated to read. Um, probably. Fighting game notation is uh tough stuff. If you don't know fighting game notation. I just want a series of buttons in a row. Oh no wait, this is okay. I have hacks. found that if I button mash, I end up doing like specials more so than uh, if I'm trying to like do quarter circle stuff. Robot spells. Hey, Doze, by the way. Welcome to the stream. Oh, hi, Doze. How's it going? I'm looking at movesets. That's why I'm not paying the closest attention at the moment. Oh, God. Oh, okay, this is where the difficulty is starting to ramp up. Why are you furious, Doze? Oh, you said campus preachers and a dog. That's an interesting combination of things to make you furious. Oh. That's the full story. Christ. Combo system. I just I just want a series of buttons in a row. Yeah, they don't do that. They should. When it comes to fighting game notation. They never make it simple. It has like they its own like shorthand. Oh they god! Did for That was amazing that he blocked that. Holy shit. Pulled that win out of my ass. Right. God, this this character. Oh my god. I'm probably not going to be able to pass this. <laughs> you're, playing as, you're playing as Death Snake? Yeah. God, this, this character. They have the stunniest of stun moves. This is so confusing. <laughs> You're like trying to like give a commentary on something meaningful when <laughs> you get distracted by robots fighting you. Fuck. Stop it, Mercurius. <sighs> Don't you care? All right, so here's I'll the pass you here's the uh, character select screen. By the way, if you want to watch stream for a second, we got nine yeah. characters. We got the six main Gundam pilots and then three of the villains. I'm so happy that Zex is actually playable somehow, even though I suck with him. <laughs> and there's actually two different versions of the main character, just because, like, if you'll remember in the show, his Gundam actually blows up in the beginning, and then he gets a new one. 
so they have both versions of it. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> How much of the show do we watch here? We watched like half of two it. Seasons, half of it. Yeah, because it, two seasons. it was in the ha in the middle of it where we got bored because it was just. A little bit slow. It was very, very strange just how much it dipped in the middle in terms of quality. Oh god, the specials. Oh, I did a special myself. Oh, look at that. It actually worked too. Oh god, this. Get out of here. What are you talking about? Everybody going to hell, huh? It's not too new, but it is exciting to see. <laughs> oh, those. You know, uh, sometimes those are actually like legitimately uh, scam artists, I've heard. Like, there was a big blog I read about it where the entire idea is to get somebody to assault you so you can sue them. Hmm. But I have no doubts that even not including that, that some people just completely mean it. It's just fucked I up, by the way. I have what each of those specs are, if you want to know what those are, the uh, menu and select the character. Uh, oh, so, Ty! <laughs> I didn't even know you could do it! Double KO! Oh, nobody gets a win. It's like a little detail, but I kind of- oh my god, they got out of my grab. It's like a little detail, but they actually use uh, the logo of the show in order to, to notate wins. Mm. Bernie Sanders to help ban him, it's fun. My finger is swollen again. That's annoying. Fuck! Oh, this character has such good anti-air! Fuck! I almost won! <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, you got close. You got really close. Alright, it's one to one. Let's see. I have never been able to beat this character oy, at this difficulty level. I think they're usually oy, this far into the game. Dude, they're starting out with some fancy moves, I gotta say. Oh yeah, this this character's doing shit that like is insane. I'm gonna have to like play as them and see if I can do like a quarter of it. Probably not. <laughs> you you like press A and it's just that move they keep doing over and over again with the shields. <laughs> It's all just like standard moves. This character just seems like completely overpowered. <laughs> Decimated me. 